obviously it's a uh, it's heading in the right direction for sure um thank you so i mean essentially now but i mean are you still is that still a goal for you or are you more focused on being uh independent and kind of doing your own thing after what happened with you know the previous position you were in um i mean to me i'm open to different situations you know what i'm saying and at this point i know like okay how do i put this a lot for words which i never am but you know what i'm saying um so my my thing is of course i would want to be on strange music i feel like i would fit there you know what I'm saying? Of course, I want to yeah. be signed to Eminem. I feel like I would fit there. But to me, it would have to be the right deal. Does that make sense? Because yeah, I'm at absolutely. a point in my life where I'm solid myself. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. So sure. I can't get no shit deal, no shit fuck off deal. You know what I'm saying? Which people get offered all the time. I'm not going to say I've never gotten offered a deal. You know what I'm saying? I just, I can't take a deal unless it's right for me and right for my team because I have people I have to take care of too. Yeah. I have people that have put a lot into my fucking brand and I don't feel like it's my brand. I feel like it's our brand. So if I get signed, some of that money has to go other places. It's not just going to me. You gotta have the intro. Yeah. You know, so I would have to be like, I would get together with the people that have really been there for me and I'd be like, hey, what do you guys think about this? Because this is what I have, you know, this is... And, and at this point, a lot of people, you know, the the small circle that I do have, they're like, it makes sense for you to be independent and grow your stuff until you get, you know, something major. And it's sad that these days, like, they don't want to offer you a deal until you don't need it. That's kind of how it is. Oh, yeah. No, the, industry is, is, the industry is kind of trash now, now, quite honestly. They don't really offer people deals until they don't need them anymore. Yeah. Which is, well, yeah, they just want to take like, the okay, unit you're already doing. So, yeah. Yeah, they just want to take right? what you're like, already doing and redo it for you. Exactly. Like, no, 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 honey. I'm already making money. Like, I'm already good. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got other side hustles, which I won't go fully into, but, like, I'm just fine financially. Like, I'm not desperate for money. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm not going to sign some sucker deal. No. Like, my IQ is high. I'm smart. I can, I can flip houses i can do a lot of different shit you know what i mean so i don't have to settle for no suck a deal like i'm not gonna do that and at the end of the day i feel like my higher power is gonna lead me in the direction where i'm supposed to go you know no, so i hope it is music you know i hope it is this rap shit and i fully believe that it is but i feel like it's not gonna fully happen for me until i really don't need it anymore does that make sense no yeah i mean totally i mean once you, I mean, obviously, once you get to that point, that's when they're going to be like, hey, uh-uh. look how big you are. Come here with us. Like, like, no, I'm right, good, fam. I'm, <laughs> right. Like, no, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? And I would never be, and, and I understand it. I do understand it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. But that doesn't mean. But that's not that always the case. Me. That's just mainly the case. Right. Exactly. But I'm doing this for a different reason than just, I don't know if, how close you follow my Facebook or Instagram or anything, but. Like, I just posted something today, you know? I, po- I post some pretty deep stuff. Like, everybody can link up with me. The sexycycle.com is my website. All, all my social media links are on there. But, I mean, if you follow me at all, like, you can see my brand is way deeper than just music. It's about inspiring people, motivating people, showing people that you don't have to do what is popular to do what your mission is. Like... It's to inspire people to chase their dreams, no matter people telling them no or not. That's why I feel like it's almost better for me to do it independent right now, because that's my whole point. My whole point is to show people you can do what people say you can't do. Because I did it. Like, I'm doing it. I'm living it. Is it easy? Hell no. Every day I've got fucking... Man, people look at my life, oh, you have this perfect life. I'm like, bro, you only see from the outside looking in. You know, like... I still be going through shit just like everybody else. Sometimes more, you know, like it's just, it's a lot of struggle to be, to decide you're going to go against the grain. But to me, it's worth it because the payoff is I know I'm doing it the right way. I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And the, and that, <clears throat> that's a bigger payoff than any check you can get. Because at the end of the day, I've had a lot of money in my hand and it wasn't worth it. When you have to sell yourself short or sell part of your soul to get something, it's not worth it. 
Absolutely. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, at least now you're, you know, you're doing what you love. You're doing what you love, and you're, you know, you're, you're pushing towards uh, your goals there. You can never go wrong with that. That's for sure. Right. And then you, I mean, you well, actually. I mean, you can. You can fail. Well, yeah, you can Which fail. I have a long time. <laughs> right. That, that doesn't but mean you have a lot of time. But... Just because you fail doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. And that's true. That's true. And you never know who you inspire. Like, I just hope I can be that person. You know, it's like every time I have somebody inbox me, like, you're such a big inspiration to me. I'm glad, you know, like, I have women all the time inboxing me, like, you inspire me so much. You have no idea. Like, I left my abusive relationship. You know what I'm saying? I had the strength to, you know, I put turn on your music when I feel suicidal. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that is like, that. there's no price on that. You can't, you can't buy that from me, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, inspiring. And you That's actually started mission, like a whole, you started a whole like nonprofit foundation based on helping women and stuff, didn't you? Yep, yep. So we're still um, looking for certain sponsors to get back in behind that, um, both financially and like um, uh, circuit wise. But yeah, we do a lot of stuff outreach for women. Um, one of one of my like obviously I'm not going to name names a lot of time I do a lot of stuff anonymously and that's why I don't post it all the time mm. um, but one of my big affinities is like women who have abusive boyfriends especially uh, sex workers or strippers or stuff like that like with pimps or something like that I'm really focused on that helping you know what I'm saying um, helping give back to help them get back on their feet so that they can they can pursue an independent life does that make sense? absolutely so I do a lot of that. I do a lot of work behind the scenes that I never even publish because I, mean, I don't want to get too spiritual or anything, but I do believe in a higher power. And if you're doing things just for the gram and all that shit, like that's not the reason you should be doing it. Yeah. If you really believe in a cause, you should be doing it because you know it's fucking right. Like I hate those celebrities that are like, oh, let me book in a video this homeless guy you know what i'm saying like every single it's, it's one thing every once in a while when you do it if the guy is like yeah i want to be a part of it like one of the videos i'm going to release has something to do with that but you know he was really excited to be a part of it i'm like dude dope dude you want to film a music video he's like yep i'm like sweet yeah. you know but every day every time you donate you need to make this big deal out of it that's not about char- that's not charity that's you clout chasing and trying to make people think you're better than you are like Absolutely. i can't stand people like that yeah, no, absolutely. And I mean, I, I I can see how that could be, you know, inspiring. Like, like you said, you came from, you know, poverty and you actually were working as a dancer. So I'm sure like, you know, the young women nowadays that have dreams or goals, maybe not to be a rapper, but to be something, Anything. you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you actually, I mean, you were using that money to help forward your musical career before you kind of got ripped oh, yeah. off, right? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, like, even afterwards. Yeah, of course. How do you think I got out of that situation? For sure. I didn't get out out of it on hopes and dreams, you know? Like, (laughs) that's the reality of the situation. You know, people are like, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you funded your music off this. I'm like, what was I supposed to fund it off of? A fucking McDonald's job, bitch? (laughs) Right. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, that wasn't going to fucking work now, was it? You know, like, when people got snarky-ass things to say to me, which, of course, people do, you know? But it, at the end of the day, you didn't live my fucking life. You didn't get kicked out of your house when you were 16. You didn't, you know what I'm saying? You weren't kidnapped and sex trafficked by a pimp. You didn't, I don't ha- I didn't have any work history. What was I supposed to do? And I knew what I was good at. I'm not ashamed of what I did. I'm not glorifying it and saying everybody should be a stripper. No, you shouldn't. It's hard. It sucks. Is it easy to make 20 bucks? Yeah. Is it easy to make 20,000? No. So don't ever let me glorify that shit because that shit was hard and I did a lot of shit that I didn't want to do. Yeah, well, I can only imagine. You know, you know. So, like, it. But at the end of the day, I'm not ashamed of it either because it made me who I am. And there's, it's, it's not about what you do; it's how you do it. There's a right and a wrong way to do everything. I never had to steal or drug nobody like that Cardi B shit. Oh, I'm drugging yeah. dudes and taking their money. I never had to do that shit. Motherfuckers gave me their shit willingly. You know, like For that sure. to me, even if you're like, even when I dealt drugs, I wasn't, I didn't deal no drugs to pregnant bitches. I, I refused to do that shit. I didn't like, I knew when somebody was out of control, I was like, no, I'm not giving you anything, period. I don't have to. 
You, oh, I'm just going to go get it from somebody else. Well, I guess you're going to go get it from somebody else then. Because I'm not giving it to you. You know, there's certain, I never sold drugs to kids. I never, there, there's certain things you don't do. I didn't have to rob people. I didn't have to stick people up at gunpoint. I didn't have to do those things. I found a way to do it morally right. So people can say anything they want to say about people being in the streets or gang banging or whatever. There's still a code to that. Yeah. There's still a right and a wrong way to do things. Yeah, absolutely. Like that Cardi B shit, that shit was whack to me. I was like, you're whack, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty That's whack. It is. Like, if you got to steal, I don't respect you. If you gotta lie, I don't respect you. I didn't have to lie for shit. I don't need to lie. You know what a lie is? A lie is somebody, that means you fear the person you're lying to. I don't fear no motherfucking buddy, period. I don't gotta lie to no fucking buddy because I don't fear no fucking one. Yeah, I, I don't need to lie to you. You either like my fucking truth or you move the fuck around, bitch. Right. I that. Yeah, I can't stand Cardi B by any means. I, every time she comes on, I just turn that shit off. I'm just being real. It's the whole, I think, okay, your hustle was great. You obviously had something or you sold your soul or something else. I don't know. Whatever the case may be. Right. But the fact of the matter is you're openly admitting to lying, drugging people. You can kill somebody when you drug somebody. Absolutely. At the end of the day, if you're a stripper or whatever, they came to you for a service. Provide them that service. Collect your payments. Move on. You don't drug people and steal their grandpa's Rolex and stuff. Like, that could have been the last thing their dad gave them before he died. You know, there's just certain things you don't do. And certain people cross the line. You know what I'm saying? I can't say I never did anything imperfect because I'm not a perfect person. But I'm telling you one thing. I don't have to lie, steal, or anything like that. Everything I do, I keep it 100. Whether you like what I do or not, you have to respect the fact that I keep it real. Fuck yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I, I get heated about that stuff because I can't stand people that steal. I cannot stand that shit. That's what's up. For sure. I mean, I mean, your story is your story. There's no reason to fucking to lie about it. That's for sure. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The funny part is, is that some people, people are so scared of what other people are going to think when they tell them the truth. But you know what's funny is that person asking you the question might have wanted to hear what you had to say of the truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you missed out on a relationship because you told them a lie and they didn't even like the lie you thought that they would like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they might, like when be, I, they might be looking you know? for their, you know, their own path of their own, you know what I'm saying? Like you never know. Exactly. It's more like they're lying to convince themselves. Because haven't you ever noticed when people lie, you can tell they're lying. Most of the time, for sure. Oh, come on, fam. <laughs> if you're a street smart person, if you are a street smart person, you can tell when somebody else is lying to you. Yeah. Whether you want to believe, whether you want to listen to it or not, you can tell. Especially, come on, man. I can tell when somebody's lying to me. I'm like, all right, bro. All right, that's what's up. Okay, peace. You know <laughs> right. what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's like, I'm not gonna convincing you not to lie to me is like convincing you to change your whole persona. Like some people, they they can't accept their own reality. Like I can accept my reality. You know, like I can accept my past. I accept what the fuck I've done. I accept what I'm doing. Like. If if I'm not okay with something, that means I need to change what yeah, exactly. I was gonna say, how can I'm you, doing. How can you how can you try to better your situation if you can't even accept the situation you're in? See what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of people <clears throat> like not like I said, not to get on the spiritual and I'm definitely not higher than might eat than thou or whatever. Like whatever anybody does, I don't judge. I'm just saying from my perspective. You know, like that's why a lot of people stay addicts, stay alcoholics. Like I had when I, okay, I was an alcoholic since fifth grade. Like, I started drinking heavily in fifth grade. I started using drugs at 16. Damn. And drinking heavily in fifth grade. I was an alcohol. I was not sober one, I don't think I was even sober one fucking day for, like, almost 20 years. 20 years. Since I was a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just got sober two years ago. But, but how I got sober was, I mean, my manager helped me a lot, but... What I'm saying is how I got sober was accepting the things that I had done. You know, accepting who I am as a person and the fact that I'm not perfect. Sure. Accepting my imperfections. I was like, all right, dude, like, I'm actually a dope person. You know what I mean? (laughs) 
Yeah. Like accept, accepting that I was a dope person, regardless of my imperfections. That's what, that's the whole sexy cycle brand is like one of our models is be you, do you, no apologies. You don't have to accept, you don't have to apologize for the things you've done in the past. I mean, to an extent, yeah, certain people you should apologize to. If you punched your brother, you should fucking say sorry. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm saying you don't have to sit there and, and beat yourself up over it. You know, like, okay, I did this. It was wrong. This is what I'm going to do in the future, not to do it again and move on and, and become a better person because you went through that situation. For sure. Always moving forward. Absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. Always moving forward. Always moving forward. That would be a good jingle for somebody, dude. I think we just made a fucking jingle. <laughs> Hell yeah, give me publishing. Seriously. <laughs> I guarantee we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pitch that to somebody like FedEx or some shit, man. There you go. I guarantee by the time you get done with this interview, you'll you'll already have a song in your head to do. We got all exactly. kinds of we got all kinds of ideas over here. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, that's how I be too, man. Seriously, I get it. That's the creative mind, dude. Yeah. That is the creative mind, man. So, so where where do we stand now? So you you go from you know what I'm saying like little kid living in poverty moving away becoming a dancer you know getting clean congratulations on that by the way thank you uh, hardest one of the hardest things i ever did in my life i relapsed like a hundred fucking times seriously I <laughs> before imagine. i actually got sober well, that's what's yeah. up yeah that's super that's super dope so now obviously that's helped you and you're you know you're getting out there you you, you released the sexy psycho part one in february you got all these dope features you've been on the road with all these amazing, you know, amazing artists. Like, where? I mean, obviously, that's that's a huge accomplishment already from where you began. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, yeah. But I mean, I mean, where are you at now? Like, what's next? Like, you, you, you're right where you want it to be. Like, where do you, where do, where do we go moving forward? Like, what's what's your next takeover? I mean, some things I can't talk about because I usually don't talk about things until like the contracts are written out and stuff like that. But. Um, so now what we're going to do is start releasing these videos, you know, and do them the right way. Um, so the Bubba Sparks video is the next one we're, the, is the first like official video from the album we're going to release. Uh, we had to take some time, you know what I'm saying? Like a month or so to really get everything together and right. Cause you know, there's always setbacks behind the scenes that people don't see, but now everything's all together. We got the video done. We're ready to roll. Um, we're, well, within the next 48 hours, we'll have everything solidified for the uh, music video release party, but it's going to be really big. I mean, really big. Um, and I'm excited about it because that's for the trust. No one video. No, no bounce. Okay. So it's a strip club. It's a strip stripper's anthem is what it is. Um, if you listen to it, you'll see though. It's not like, You know, it's dope. I fuck with it. Um, so it's in rotation in a lot of different strip clubs already because, you know, I have links in, in those places. But, um, yeah, so we're going to do a huge music video release party. I can't say the exact venue or date or anything until the, you know what I'm saying, until it's, like, locked in officially because it's actually a really big club and it goes through corporate. So until everything's, like, officially locked in with design and Is it going to be in Dallas or in Chicago? Yeah, Dallas area. <clears throat> but if the Dallas area one goes good, then, you know, the sky's the limit for that stuff because that's why it's good to mess with corporate. That's why it's good that I, you know, I got, I'm a business-minded person because I always think bigger. I think what's going to happen with this move and then what about the next one, you know? Absolutely. So if these numbers turn out good here, you know, you never know. They might just be like, hey, come to our club in Chicago, do it too. Come to our club in Detroit, do it too. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. Let's keep doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it all over the fucking country. Why the fuck not? Right. Exactly. So that's that's the whole point is to, you know, always be bigger and better and doing something bigger and better and something that hasn't been done before. Like, you know, other rappers have done certain things I've done, but no little white girl rapper independently has ever done it. And that's one thing that constantly, you know, I'm I'm happy every step forward is like a hundred steps forward because it's the fir- I'm the first one of of my of my creed to ever do it. You know, so it's a big step for us. So I'm really excited about that. And then um after that we're gonna shoot the rest of the videos and get this shit cracking. That's what's up. 
Hell yeah. yeah. Lots of fucking visuals yeah. on the way. Can we expect to see the sexy psycho out on the road this year? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. But that's not we don't we don't have the contract signed and stuff yet for that. So, but yes, we will be doing a tour this summer. That's what's up. We're gonna hit some new markets that we haven't hit before. So, pretty exciting. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on, but I've just learned like not to really super put stuff out there until it's signed because you know how the industry is people. People change dates, they change venues, they change tours, you know, it happens all the time. And when you're working with other major artists, you kind of have to go on their schedule. Or cancel. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, shit changes every fucking day. Exactly. It's always some last minute shit, like, so, yeah, but I'm excited. Like, I'm really, really positive about the future, and I'm, I'm just happy, you know, motherfuckers are showing me love, like, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for having me on. I appreciate that. Like, you know, that's just, that's love too, you know? Absolutely. You never know that one person might listen to you that mentions you to Dr. Dre on this radio show. You don't know that. You know what I'm saying? You never know. So that's why I don't think, I never feel like I'm too big for anything. I hate when people get like that. Like you're never, of course, like you have to take a check over something that's not a check. You know what sure. I'm saying? You have to do that because that's life. But I'm never too big to be like, what's up? You know what I mean? Like, I always, you know, I always answer, like, my fans, you know, like, in my inbox. Like, I always answer them. Always. It might not be that day. It might not be that week. But I always make time to go back and make sure every single one of my messages is answered. Like, like, it's important to me because... I remember hitting people up and they would laugh at me, you know, or just completely flat ass ignore me. Some of the same people that are like super cool with me now and don't even realize they snubbed me before. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I never want to be looked at like that. Like, oh, that's that stuck up bitch right there. Oh, hey, Jay Iria, what's up? You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Like, is. I never. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there she is. Hi, how are you? And then when I walk away, oh, she's a stuck up bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like. I never want to, like, I always try and be cool. Like, I've got brain damage and stuff, so sometimes, like, people think I have this resting bitch face, but, like, I really don't. Like, I'm really actually, like, trying to concentrate and remember who I am. Do you know what I'm saying? Damn. (laughs) Yeah, so, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't know. I'm just really thankful. I'm happy. Life ain't perfect, but shit, nobody's life is perfect. More money, more problems, you know? Shit. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Well, that's a shit. That's fucking life, dude. <laughs> um, I did have a question from Heather in our chat room. Um, she wants to know. I guess she was having uh, this, her friends had an argument about this issue. Do you have a problem with men calling you sweetheart, babe, darling, honey, or, or similar things like that? I think it depends on the context. Like if it's business, I'm I give it right back to them. Like when they're like, "Listen, sweetheart, that's not going to work." I'm like, "Okay, sweetheart." Well, let's get back to the numbers of the situation, okay? Like, when they be like that to you, you just throw it right back at them. And they're like, oh, shit. I'm like, look. And if they don't catch that, you know, you try and be polite about it. Be like, be like, don't call me that. They do it again, you give that to them. They do it again and be like, look, I think you have a problem being professional. Because this is a business situation. Are you going to call that man right there, sweetheart, honey, or babe? No. No. Yeah. So my gender has nothing to do with this business transaction, does it? So let's get back on track before we have an issue. There you go. You know, you have to be very direct. As a woman, you're going to get, you're by men in the industry or or any business industry, you're going to get called a bitch. You're going to be like, oh, she's difficult to work with. No, I'm not. I'm standing up for myself, honey. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. So don't ever feel bad about being, the, the bitch I'm talking about right now is different than the bitch I was talking about before. The bitch, bitch is an acronym for babe in total control of herself. Always remember that, girl. That's what you remember. So when people are like, oh, yeah, she she thinks this or whatever. This is, The fact of the matter is a lot of men, and I'm not stereotyping all men, but many men in the business, in, in the business world are intimidated by strong women. Because it is in their, it, it, it's, it's programmed in their minds that they're supposed to be dominant over that. They're, we're supposed to be their secretaries. Well, guess what, honey? You're not. I'm. You're my secretary. How about that? <laughs> yeah, get them. You're gonna be my secretary today, okay? Because my credentials say so. I, I get that all the time in the industry. Like even females do it to me. They'll try and put a dude above me, and I'm like, look at my resume, bro. Like, are you not seeing this? Do you see my resume? And you're still trying to act an ass. Okay, all right. So we just aren't gonna do business together. 
certain people you will not be able to do business with. You know, but that sweetheart, honey, babe stuff, that is saying like, oh yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Like when people say, oh yeah, what are you doing? Oh yeah, that little music thing, that's cute. I'm like, I correct them. I'm like, actually, it's not little. It's actually pretty damn big. I actually just shipped a huge shipment to Germany, which is overseas if you haven't checked. I've also done national tours all the way across the country. So I don't know what's little about that or cute about that. Because ain't shit cute about what I do, sweetheart. Hell yeah. And then you call them, you know, a, like, you call them a bitch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right? Sweetheart. That's what sweetheart means, you little bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a way you can cut people off. Like, like even some of my quote unquote, I don't really have friends, but even people I have to do business with that are like, oh yeah, you're my friend, you're my friend. They be pulling that shit too. You know what I mean? Like they, people get mad when one of their people that used to be below them is above them. You're going to always get that. Always get that. You're going to get it 10 times worse than a female. Always. I just don't care anymore. Actually, I thrive on it. Because I'm like, you know what? Now I'm going to go out and prove you even more wrong. And make okay. you look like a fucking dipshit. Yeah. Get them. Okay? Hell yeah. Like, that's that's the whole point. I'm not saying all men are like that. All men aren't like that. So I'm definitely not a man hater. I'm a feminist, but I'm not a man hater. There's a big difference. There's a lot of feminists out there that are like, men are horrible, men men should fucking lick on our toes and weird shit. Well, they can't lick on our toes, but that's sexual. Anyway, not that way. You know what I mean? Like, they should kiss our asses and blah, blah, blah. And what I'm like, no, that? no. What I'm asking for is equality. Women are not better than men. Men are not better than women. There are certain things genetically, yes, most men are stronger than women. That's just how it is. We are genetically built like that. Okay? That's not being sexist. That's just... That's just a fact. Okay? So that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But you're not going to say, oh, all women are weak. There's a big difference between those two statements. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, to go to, to close the circle on that whole question and my, and my response to it is some people need to be corrected. And it's very well within your realm of rights to correct that motherfucker. In the politest and most professional way possible, because what they're trying to do is get you out of your skin. So you just go monitor and be like, listen, this is a business transaction. Do you want to continue? Because you're not going to disrespect me. Fuck. And then they're like, okay, I've been checked. And if they continue to do it, be like, look, I'm going to have to withdraw. And if there's a superior, be like, look, and I'm, and I'm, I'm going to go talk to your superior too. Because you're not going to sexually harass me. Sometimes Some people need to be checked like that because they think they can do whatever they want and it's not right. You can't just sexually harass somebody like that sweetheart baby boo like that that's harassment you're not going to say that to a guy so why would you say it to me that is true exactly if you're not going to say it to a guy that you don't want to fuck oh that's gay if i say that to him then it's sexual harassment when you say it to me so no so know the difference respect me and address me as you would address any other man in this room wearing a suit that's why i show up to business meetings in a suit a suit with a suit coat suit pants uh, loafers. I don't wear no skirt. You know why? Because you're not going to look at me like that. You're going to address me like I'm wearing a suit because I'm wearing one. That's what's up. Yeah, so, I mean, that's my advice. But, yeah, I go off on a tangent about that. I'm sorry because I get very, very serious about that shit. Oh, it's all good. That's what's up. Put the motherfuckers in their place. <clears throat> like, really, though, like, people, so you, you, I mean, you've met people like that to think they're just above what they really fucking are. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, I, dude, you still took a shit this morning and wiped your yeah. ass. That doesn't even say that doesn't even have to do with fucking sex or you know male or female. It's just fucking people in general. Right, but some people do target women. Oh yeah, absolutely. They For do. sure, get it way worse. Oh yeah, they do. But but there are some people like I have to deal with. I'm not going to name names, but I have to deal with this one person. I constantly have to. I have to focus literally on dealing with him before I have to deal with him. Be like, this is how I'm going to deal with him. He's not going to get under my skin. When he says this, I'm going to respond in this way. Literally. Like, that's... And some people you're just going to have to deal with. And there's just a certain way you have to deal with them. That's part of life, you know? Absolutely. Unfortunately. But there will be a day when I don't have to deal with that motherfucker. Thank God. Hell yeah. Just fucking put the motherfuckers into place and keep moving forward. Exactly. It's so funny too, though. Like I've had a couple people do that to me, and it's like it's funny because the G, one of the people I used to work for, he's like that's helping me throw this party. Um, he's like, man, I never knew who you were. I was like, what do you mean? 
He was like, I never knew like who you were. I never knew it, like you're like you did that much stuff with your music. He's like, you were always so humble. Like you didn't sit there and talk about it all day. You just came to work, do, did your job, and left and made money. And he's like, you were good at it. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, because why? Why would I tell you that? You know what I'm saying? And now he's looking back, like trying to make it up to me. You know what I'm saying? In some way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? Giving me, get, complimenting me. You know? He's like, yeah, it's a really big deal, and I'm really, I'm proud of you. But it's funny because he he always fucked with me. I mean, he was cool. But some of the people that worked with him that were my superiors were like, they never said congratulations to me, never said good job, none of that shit. Now that their boss fucks with me, they have to fuck with me. Do you see what I'm saying? So payback's kind of a bitch. That's it. I hear that, but... <clears throat> There's different ways to get back at people than snap off on them. Shoot them in the face. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, in the that theater is a way. of my mind, in the theater of my mind, I do do that multiple times a day. Oh, believe sure. Me. Yeah, right. We all do. Fuck. I'm just like, do you realize you've died 32 times in my mind during this entire <laughs> conversation, sir? Oh, okay. All right. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, that happens every day. So now day that you know book. that, can we continue so I can kill you some more before you're done talking? <laughs> all right. All right. Yep. Oh yeah, trust me, I feel it. God damn. Well, there you go. I'm Holy crazy. Shit. I thought you were psycho. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> crazy psycho. It's all good. It all works, right? Yeah, it's all relevant. Both. It's all both. There you go. There's a difference. Psycho is an advanced and more skilled level of crazy. Oh. That's what it is. A psychopath is a crazy person that is calculated, basically. Yeah. Those are the worst kind to fuck with. That's extra, extra crazy. Well, because we'll we'll plot on you for like years. It's like left eye when she burned her ex's house down. Yeah, that's yeah, pl- that's of, plotting. But, we but but we don't. Yeah, but we don't get caught for that shit though. <laughs> she didn't give a fuck no more. <laughs> <laughs> she said, yeah, I'm going to burn everybody, everybody down. down bitch. <laughs> I think she wanted people to know she did it, quite honestly. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah, funny. that's the difference. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, everybody has their limit. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, there's a, there's a psycho in all of us. Yeah. That's I, one I, thing. I, everybody I has a psycho inside of them. Everybody has that limit where they're like, okay, bro, it's a wrap. I'm going to snap now. Everybody has their limit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. We sure the fuck do. Yeah. Right. Well, maybe you go psycho on your ass. One. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's why I don't really get worried when I start snapping on people. When I worry is when I get really quiet. Be like, why aren't you talking? Why aren't you saying anything? Ain't got nothing to say. I'm like, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. You just wait. Yeah, exactly. You like, just wait. Like, okay, keep talking shit. Wait. Just wait. And I'm the type of person that's like, oh, just wait. Not for six minutes later. Not for six weeks later. I'm like six months later. Six years later. Shit, when I get quiet, that's when I'm about ready to pop somebody in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, like my ex, I don't don't want to get back at him by hurting him physically. I want him to beg for my forgiveness publicly. And he will. That's just what's going to happen. Like I don't, I don't want to hurt people. I, don't even say, I want I'm you scared, to atone for your sins publicly, because people always forget. People want to disrespect you in public and then privately apologize. That don't work for me. You're gonna disrespect me publicly. You're gonna fucking apologize publicly too, bitch. Wasn't that the dude that just uh, uh, cheated on Nicki Minaj or something like that, and then had to come out on stage? It was like, take me back. I don't know. I don't know which rap, rapper it was, but they, that that shit just happened. Really, I didn't even see that. That's I don't know if it was Nicki Minaj, but it, it was a uh, no, it was Cardi B. Cardi, Cardi B. B. That's Offset. it. Yeah, yeah, he was like, nah, fuck that bitch. I'm gonna fuck everybody else. And then she's like, uh huh. All right, we done. He's like, I'm so sorry. He came out on stage with flowers and shit. <laughs> and that shit was right, exactly. That shit was funny. Right, that's some some bullshit, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, on another level, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, no. People people always think that, people always think they got away with stuff. People only get away with stuff if you let them. Some people need to learn a lesson a harder way than 
You know? Yeah, absolutely. Because my whole point is I don't want those people to go do that to another female, which I know they already have, which is fucking wrong. That's my whole point. That's what I'm going to make it. I'm going to shut all that shit down. Well, you can't fix ignorance, but you can take a stand for it. Be like, you ain't going to do that shit to me. Like, fuck yeah, that. No, but but at the same time, like, they shouldn't, people shouldn't be running around abusing other women either. Oh, no, I totally agree with that. You know, so I have a bigger mission to make it than just. I don't know. It's, I mean, I go, I mean, I go off about the shit. I just, I just, I was abused too much in my younger years, you know? So I just, I don't like hearing about any female being hit or mentally, because mental and spiritual abuse will fuck you up worse than physical. Because physical wounds heal, but emotional wounds never do. Those are things you wake up in the middle of the night screaming about, you know, like, like, and not Absolutely. every woman is strong enough like me to get out of it. Most aren't. Most are just like, okay, this is my situation. This is my life. You know, like, I know I'm a strong ass bitch and I almost didn't get out of it. You know what I'm saying? So I just sit there and I imagine like how many women are going through that right now. And it's like, oh, well, a lot of them don't, so don't know how to get out of it or know exactly. that they can even get out of it. They... Exactly. That's why it makes me angry when people are like, oh, well, you chose to stay there. Chose? The fuck do you mean chose? This motherfucker has every has control of everything she does. How is she choosing to stay there? Right. People don't understand that aren't in the situation. Exactly. That's why it's like I try and educate people, too, you know, so so they can understand. Cause it's not fair. It's not right. So, so what kind of advice would you have for for someone in a similar situation if they weren't? Uh, you know, obviously it's a different situation for everyone. They're probably not aspiring to be a female rapper, but uh, you know, for so anyone in that situation, like you know, what what kind of advice would you give someone that may you know may not know what to do? Um, like honestly, you got to make an exit plan. And don't tell anyone. You just make an exit plan. You gotta squirrel away as much money as you can. Even if it's ten dollars here or twenty dollars there, you're gonna need money when you leave. Even if it's a dollar a day. You know what I'm saying? Put that shit away. Hide it. Get a safe deposit box. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Things that people like that can't track. You know? Yeah. You know, you gotta do that. Start start finding, okay, this is the plan. When I leave this is this is where I'm gonna go. Start working and making sure you work on your credit, things like that. If that's something that that person will let you do, you know, twist it like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to buy us a house or whatever. You got to fix your credit. You got to do all that stuff and and get out. Like if it's a situation where you think you're going to die, you need to literally you need to go to the authorities and know that the authorities might not help you. So have a backup plan. I left. I went three states away. Like. I ran, yeah. ran, because I like it was life or death. I knew I was like, I'm gonna die if I stay here. I knew it, and I felt it. I'm like, I'm I'm about to die. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Like one day he hit me so hard, I was just like, you know what? I I can I can die from this. Like I'm gonna die, and I knew I was gonna die. I saw it. I'm like, if I stay here, I'm gone. I'm dead. <coughs> If you have to, run. You know what I'm saying? Like, But make a plan. Make sure you're not just like running into the middle of the night with nowhere to go. No. Unless it's that fucking serious, which sometimes it is. But, you know, like, make sure you, you know, try and get a car. Try and get a, a, a friend. You know, reach out. There's there's um, abuse hotlines. There's If it's really bad, you can go to, like, Christine Ann Center or, like, find a place in your area that's a shelter. They'll have the most resources <clears throat> for you. Like, women's abuse shelters have a lot of resources they can help you with. And they legally cannot tell that that person that you're there. No. You know, like, I mean, it's going to be hard, but you got to know that. It's going to be fucking hard. Absolutely. Or find a abuse women's shelter out of state for a reason. and buy a bus ticket. Get away. Exa- yeah. Get the fuck out. Go to your neighbor. Be like, this person is trying to kill me. Please, I need a ride to the shelter. Yeah. You know, like... They'll get you to the right place. Hell, even if you can save up money for a bus ticket to go to a shelter in a different state. Yeah. I mean, those are the best. Those are honestly, like, sometimes the best option because 
You know, like, I'm just really passionate about that. And I really, I really want women to know you can get out. Like, it took me a long time, but it's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to be like, oh, my life is perfect now. No, you know, like, it's going to take hard work, but you can do it. If you really have your mindset to it, you can do it. Like, I'm so about that. And that's like, if you listen to my music, you'll, you'll hear like the female empowerment stuff in my music. And it's not just for females. Like anyone can suffer abuse. Like men can too. Absolutely. And, and that shouldn't be, people shouldn't feel ashamed about that either. You know? Cause like, you know, a lot of guys shame their friends. Like, oh, you're getting beat up by a girl. No, like some bitches are crazy. They'll stab you. <laughs> that's true. Or like, you, you know, know, know or emotional, you know, emotional. Or they'll, exactly. they could even do right shit. Either. They could even do shit like through the authorities, like, you know, place yep. a false rape charge on you and that'll follow you the rest of your life. Yep. Yes, it's true. So in that situation, you need to get out of that too. You uh-huh. know, it's just about being, try like do what's good for you and don't feel like you need to, you know what I'm saying? You got to do what's good for you. You know, that's what I'm, that's what it's all about is doing what's good for you and, Trying to be live a healthy and happy life, cause man, we're not on this earth for very long. I can't believe I'm thirty fucking one years old already. It goes by yeah. quick. It goes by it quick. Does. It does. That's what I'm yes, saying. it does. Fuck yeah. It does. People are like, oh, I don't want to do this. I might fail. It's like, oh, you know what? If you didn't do it, you failed already. If you don't do it, so just fucking go out and do it. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Yeah, you miss out exactly. <laughs> That's true. That's what I'm saying. So that's my big, that's, that's my advice, man. And who am I? Nobody. But shit. That's my fucking advice. Hey, everybody, fucking somebody. go for it, man. Go for it. Well, I don't care. Even fucking, even the fucking leader of the fucking world is fucking nobody. We're all just people. If he dies, he's going to get replaced. Just like me. If I die, I'm going to get replaced. It is what it is. Uh, no, no. Nobody is irreplaceable. I am irreplaceable. Right, you know what I mean. <laughs> There's only I one me, goddamn it. The Duke. Know right, what I, you know what uh, I mean, though. I've you know what I mean. That's what's up. That's all I'm saying, man. Kind of. It's all, it's all love. It's all about fucking being. Just fucking trying to be the best and happiest person you can be, man. Simple sure. as that. And at the same time, inspire some people and help some people along the way. Fuck yeah. Well, yeah. Whenever, if anybody has ever reached, reached down and helped you up, help somebody else up. They might not appreciate it, but you know what? Later they will. And if they don't, fuck it. It was what you're supposed to do. You did the right thing, damn it. Absolutely. You know what I mean? For sure. For sure. Okay. And if you guys want to help out the Sexy Psycho, you can go to the sexypsycho.com and pick up that brand new... Sexy Psycho Volume 1 EP featuring Paul Wall, Low Flip, Bubba Sparks, motherfucking Lars, Stevie Stone, Young Wicked, King Iso, many more. I just keep mentioning yeah. Young Wicked because he's my homie. I love him. Yeah. Good dude. <laughs> no, literally, he loves them. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking dope. Young Wicked's a beast. Um, yeah. What were you going to say, Ru? I said no. You do love oh, him. You're just pointing out the fact that I do love him. Yeah. So I'm like, I just wanted to hear you say that again. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Young, we're good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna bump some of it too here uh, in just a minute. I do have one more question for you. We asked all of our guests the same. It's shift. a hard one. It's uh, a hard one. Essentially, you have to dig oh, down man. into your uh, sexy psycho soul. It's the hardest question you've ever been asked. Not really. Oh Jesus! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, essentially, if you have three records that either inspired you as a person, maybe helped you get through some shit when you were coming up, or just you know help you out, just three records touched that, you, that touched touched you in a way that you just cannot live without. What three records would they be? Um, I would say. Tech Nine Low, definitely. That one was really, that helped me get through a lot of stuff. Um, I would say, ooh, so hard. Oh, so many. Right. Uh, Eminem, I would say Eminem, definitely. There's so many from him, though. Like, um, like his, you know, touching about the situation with the kids, like, like his Mockingbird song, like touches me a lot, you know, because I don't get to see my daughter as much as I want to. I feel so like the song too, Kim would be, would be, for some reason that reminds me of you. Yeah. Where, where he's like, it's, it's, it's Kim, right? Where he's like fucking just screaming at her and 
Kills her. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Yep. I want to do a song like that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. For real. I could see that. And then like, and I don't want to sound corny, but like Eminem Lose Yourself is probably the, the anthem. I mean, a lot of people can agree on that though. Like, like it's true. Sure. You gotta like, you have to lose yourself in your dreams because you only have one life. Why not? Fuck it. Amen to that. You know what I mean? I just watched Eminem 8 Mile again too, so. <laughs> so you're like, fresh. fresh in my mind. Hell yeah. You only have yeah. one shot, but that's, I mean, that's what's, I mean, that's, that's the yeah. truth though. Like that's so many people we've had on the show. That's like the, that's the biggest reoccurring thing is they're like no fucking plan B. You just got to fucking set your fucking course and fucking take it. And There's go. No other fucking like, yeah, stop being fucking scared of shit. No. Like you might fucking fail. Oh, fucking well. You're failing right now if you don't. That's right. If you fail, you're just going to end up where everybody else is anyway. So at least you fucking tried. Exactly. At least yeah. you fucking tried, fam. Yep. Fuck exactly. Yeah, well, that's what the fuck's up, man. Um, congratulations on the sobriety. Congratulations on the new record. Thank you. Just dropped Thank in you. February. Make sure you guys go check it out. We're gonna play some uh, some tunes from that for sure. Cool. Um, we look forward to seeing you out there on the road, and you know, yep. hopefully hearing some new shit from Stay you. Don't touch, man. Hopefully, we'll see you here in St. Louis. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yep. Actually, um, yeah, I, I've been to St. Louis multiple times, but go. it was on. It wasn't on music. <laughs> That's what's up. We'll leave that with a dot 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 at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we have a really high crime rate, so yeah, we're number one. Yep. We're number one. Yep. We're number one for the crime oh, yeah. rate, so I, mean, I can understand. Oh, oh we, we, we get it. Um. Well, where was I at? Um. Brooklyn oh. area. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Louis? East yep. side, yeah, east side. East side, yeah, that's where I was at when I was there. Yeah, we that's know what you were doing. I was like, I got robbed. No, I got robbed at gunpoint in that motherfucker. And I was like, I'm out. I'm yeah, not. the only there's only there's literally only three things in Brooklyn: it's strip clubs, brothels, and crackheads. Yeah, yeah. basically. That's it. Literally, that's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They took my truck and everything. They robbed me at gunpoint. Took my truck. I had literally a garbage bag full of money. It was fucking crazy. Yeah. But that's another story for another time. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's for that's for uh, Sexy Psycho Volume Two. There you go. There you look, go. Look forward to that shit coming out. No wow. shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell yeah. Well, we appreciate you calling in, hanging out with us. Welcome to the Replicon Radio family. You can hit us up anytime. Thank you. Hell Whatever yeah. info so? you got, we'll get the we'll get the word out. Let the people know for sure. Oh yeah. You got uh, any last words? Any shout outs? Anything you want to say before we uh, bump some of that music for everybody to enjoy? Man, thank you. I mean, just thank you to everyone who's helped me get here. Like, you know, everyone who's helped me along the way. Definitely my manager. He's sitting right here though the whole time. Hey. Um, so definitely my. He said, "Hey." <laughs> yeah. So definitely my ma- manager, Ken Folk. Um, all of my supporters, dude. Like I, I say this all the time. My fans aren't my fans, they're my family, you know? Like, everybody, if you ever shared or liked or commented, that makes a difference to me, you know? Like, and I genuinely love you for supporting me, and I appreciate that. And just make sure you go to the website, even if you can't afford to buy anything, dude, you know what I'm saying? Just share the download button. That means a lot, too. Like, hey, I downloaded this, check it out, it's fucking dope. It's thesexypsycho.com. Um, you can order the hard copy or you can stream the music for free on Spotify. So you can't afford it. I've made it available for everybody because everybody deserves to hear it. So, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, there you go. Go yeah. check that shit out. And we're going to play some for you right now for free. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, much love. Uh, we'll definitely keep in touch with you and uh, we look forward to seeing what you got going on this year. Yep. Yep. Hell yeah, man. Stay in touch. All right. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Hell yeah. That was it. That was the sexy psycho. That was. Get you all queued up with some of, some of her lovely tunes. That was a nice, uplifting interview. I'm actually anxious to hear a little bit. Yeah. We're going to bump a little bit for you. If you're in a bad situation, get yourself out of it, fam. Yeah. Yeah. Follow your dreams. Stay positive. Don't take shit off some asshole. Do all kinds of shit. We apologize for the technical difficulties earlier, and hopefully we can uh, squeeze fix that shit, shit together. Yeah, fix yeah. that on the on the playback. Yeah, for sure. We'll be back. Hot 
hustle hard. Grind harder. I get it how I live. Sexy psycho. I swear I'm gonna hustle till I die. I'm a mama. I get it in. I'm on a grind. I'm bowing down quick. I'm gonna shine. I get it how I live. I ain't never lied. Every day is money on my mind. I get it in. I'm on a grind. I vow to never quit. I'm gonna shine. I get it how I live. I ain't never lied. Every day is money on my mind. So I gotta hustle hard, grind harder, hustle hard, grind harder, hustle hard, grind. That's why I'm gonna hustle till I die. I'm a mama. Hustle hard, grind harder, hustle hard, grind harder, hustle hard, grind. That's why I'm gonna hustle till I die. I'm a mama. Yeah, I'm nice, but I ain't sweet. No. Every day I'm in these streets 'cause you know I gotta eat. Get it? And I grind like it's some kind of disease. Uh, Sometimes I hustle and tear my feet bleed. Uh, Haters wanna slide on me, but that don't really bother me. Know my numbers coming up, I'm about to hit the lottery. Ping. When I was down, nobody ever thought of me. Now everyone I used to know hit my phone and bother me. Uh, I don't want no company, I'm trying to build my company. Self-made boss, paid the cost, it was tough for me. Uh, Every time I took a L, no one was there to comfort me. Got locked up, no bail, you ain't come for me. So you ain't none of me, I did it on my own. Mine. Coming for the platinum while I'm rocking all this gold. No, you hate that I left you alone, I'm getting on. I see you sick and salty while I'm sitting on my throne. What up? I get it in. I'm on my grind. I vow to never quit. I'm gonna shine. I get it how I live. I ain't never lied. Every day is money on my mind. I get it in. I'm on my grind. I vow to never quit. I'm gonna shine. I get it how I live. I ain't never lied. Every day is money on my mind. So I gotta hustle hard, grind harder, hustle hard, grind harder, hustle hard, grind. That's why I'm gonna hustle till I die. I'm a mama. Hustle hard, grind hard. Lyrical cannibal. 
remember my name. Sex back up, put you in the rubber body bag. I ain't got a brag. See my resume. I've been steady on my hustle, took a bigger day. Earned everybody, gotta take the heart away. And only said truth, got a lot to say. Had to overpay, no giveaways. Broke down and wanna come to Virgil Triple A. Pop chunks on the lot of the Chevrolet. Thank God every day, Dodge DA. Take outs, bounce back like a virtual trade. Keep it true to the game, never dissipate. See the lot of ready days, never dissipate. Earn my spot, think you overstayed. When it comes to voting, working, you been never yay. Yeah, you took a hard game, but it was a claim. You a sweet, sweet, and solid catch a two gay. Got some character, it's hard to that I made. I never fake, got any DNA. I'm too busy, I'm a grind, trying to elevate. So I can't give you hate, knows the time of day. Don't to be the problem with the power play. Probably pick up pack of rivers in the second day. Well, I'm pissed lots of lazy lingerie. Over some cabernet at the cabaret. Some dreams run, rhymes like a pen away. Married to the money, talking about back of May. Want to shepherd in my face like a man of May. If you ain't in my circle, get up on my space. I'll get a verbal whiplash, don't run away. see me go crazy because I rage like an animal. Spit that verbal insanity, I got a maniacal mandible. How I'm killing these rappers, might as well call me Hannibal. How I body these beats, I must be a lyrical cannibal. 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 Down in the slums and we keep it in grimy. Hand on my knife, about to go catch a body. Rappers get cooked in the oven 350. Underground, don't give a fuck about TV. Silverware packed in the side of the stretcher. Eating these rappers, applying the pressure. Don't feed an animal, come in to damage your audio. Mind with some lyrical cannibals. A17 coming up with the work. You niggas so soft, couldn't even pitch enough. We the truth of this bitch, we supplying the men. Yeah, let me think I touch, I got depth in my hands. We ain't giving out face, come and get your face cut. You ain't ready for this volcano, about to blow up. The killers in the game, keep on moving, no fucks. I'm a beast, I'll each about to get a pay cut. Fuck rap, I'm heavy metal. Too hardcore, these boys pebbles. My whole squad on another level. Two microphone and two shovels. Get a toe tag and a death more. Hit the deep freeze where your brain store. Straight body death. Leave them all gore. When it comes to beef, we call Don't wanna voice. see me go crazy because I rage like an animal. Spit that verbal insanity. I got a maniacal mandible. How I'm killing these rappers. Might as well call me Hannibal. How I body these beats. I must be a lyrical cannibal. 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 Satirical cannibal, lyrical. Leaving them all in this area. Pointing to rap all barium. Doctor told me that I'm sick as malaria. Choke till there's no more air in them. Nuke them and clear out the area. Eat them like a cafeteria. Murderers in my bacteria. Cause when they get to ripping the kid in the competition. Making a disappear, man, and never leave a witness. Somebody get a dive when they find me. I've been missing here. Try to drop a dime in the demon. You get the kiss of death. Why am I so maniacal? Leaving you unrecognizable. I get in your head like I'm Hannibal. All of my torture device is mechanical. My tactics are radical. And whip off my hands like I tear off your mandible. Snap of your clavicles, muffle your screams. Turn up some music that's classical. I'm making it rapid look easy. Catching the body to breathe. Shit, I'm saying, got you queasy. Wet the blood off with a squeeze. Shit, I'm with the got a megan. Everybody run up on the way to beat him. I treat him like I'm in the telly. By the way, they made it beat it. They're good like I'm eating. They're the same. Yeah, they're with it. They're the people that are traveling. They're deep into the disease. They're injected with dirty needles. Crush it like a beetle. I need you to feel my hand. I'm seated on the fucking throne, and if you got a problem with it, we can get it on. I'm too cold with it. Working on a million, I go get it, bitch. I'm so wicked, but I grow sick of these fuck boys with that fuck noise. They got no vision, but I'm throw slitting. For your favorite rapper, I've ghost written. They ran it up, I'm man enough to know. Ain't a motherfucker out here that can't handle us. I don't do no favors, I don't give no gifts. This ain't fucking Christmas, I'm the fucking Grinch. You wanna take a mile, I won't give an inch. I'm a lyrical cannibal like Brother Lynch, and I hate the way they treat us. Dead body in front of me, I'ma eat it. Even if the dead body's still breathing, fighting like he's the MC, but he don't, don't wanna, wanna see me. go crazy.
If you got a problem, better bring it to my face. Cause I keep it 100 and I don't do well with fakes. Claim they from the gutter, but I don't trust what they say. They ain't talking about nothing, they better stay in they lane. These rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe. These rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe. If you got a problem, better bring it to my face. Cause I keep it 100 and I don't do well with fakes. Texas, sick shit, misfit. Love to get my dick lit. Lars, we got bars and we rolling with twisted. Going to jail, making bail. I'm a fucking animal. Ass liquor, titty liquor. I'm a fucking cannibal. Who got the weed? Who got the oxy? Pop three Roxy, now we driving off. Bizarre's a crazy nigga. I fuck your lady, nigga. Free semen. I'm a fucking baby. If you got a problem, better bring it to my face. Cause I keep it 100 and I don't do well with fakes Claim they from the gutter but I don't trust what they say They ain't talking about nothing, they better stay in they lane These rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe These rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe If you got a problem, better bring it to my face Cause I keep it 100 and I don't do well with fakes These rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe These rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe. Cause it's all a jar jacket, say you're thuggin' and you giving, but that didn't happen. You ain't packing, boy, any given day I'll catch you like I say. You hustle, but you look for handouts when you slackin'. You lay, living off your girl, and I'm laughing cause you're holding up your ramp. Honey, bustin' when you're snappin'. Pivot one more time, gonna get you back. Hand it in a man, you a boy, not a boss, but the average. Me, I hustle every day, look at the habit. Imagine, I match my pace, you couldn't manage. Your brand is a sexy cycle, I'm a savage. I've landed, it's rap day, I'm doing damage. It's time that we get an understanding. I don't expect respect, I demand it. Got a problem with it, we can get it crackin'. Beef is like a beat, I hear it and I attack it. You want a cookie, got a faking, you shaking, I'm breathing fire, I'm awake the dragon, I'm slaying the game, it's mighty taken, you hate it, I'm real to death, I'm gonna make it. We can never be adjacent, you grow complacent, I've been busy chasing, erasing, anyone in the way better face it, decapitation, Freddy versus Jason. If you got a problem, better bring it to my face, cause I keep it 100 and I don't do well with fake. Claim they from the gutter, but I don't trust what they say, they ain't talking about nothing, they better say. If you got a problem, better bring it to my face. Cause I keep it 100 and I don't do well with fake. These rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe. These rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe, these rappers ain't safe. If you got a problem, better bring it to my face. Cause I keep it 100 and I don't do well with fake. These rappers ain't safe. So many kings in this thing though. Still leading in the scene though. Horror call. I sleep, eat shit, and breathe it. I'm the meanest, I'm the grim repo. All I wanna see is blood spilling. Stuck niggas inside the mouths of dumb bitches. A bus quick die from higher function fist. The murderer you heard of us, the truck niggas. I shake the place up, break your face up, break your face, blood. Make me wait, wet. No way, I want foreplay. I will force eight inches in your anxious anus. Bitch, I'm a motherfucking rock star. Man, fuck that, I'm a rock god. Man, fuck that, I am Allah. Break to a nigga for you blow up the cock car. Like I, like I, push buck, pull a sip of my tie, my dick suck, watch movies on white, my rhymes, my 
with swag and tattoos. Boy, it's true, I'm fresher than you. I grind for mine, you coming unglued. I'll get through more pressure than you. I earn my stripes, you missed your cues. I put in more effort than you. I outdo everything you do. Just admit it, I'm better, I'm better than you. I'm better than you, I'm better than you. Just admit it, I'm better than you. All the time, I put in more work than your whole crew combined. I'm building street cred and your car just declined. Been about my bread, you'll get no slice of mine. Better add to my plate, I don't wine and dine. Why you even try? You must be high. I've been on my grind and you've been left behind. Sad to see me winning, no go dry your eyes. Know you wanna cry that you've been outshined by a chick that's unsigned and not in the right mind. You cannot deny I'm rap Frankenstein. Quick like tech nine, like rich top of the line. Stone and JL, I'm contraband with the rhyme. Strange till I die, I'm coming for what's mine. Well, I laugh till I cry. Asinine. Just a battle crying, you'll never witness be quitting. Had to switch it up, get quick for you hit it to really listen. Jaws are dropping out with a witness, my twist and dropping and spitting on the path that I've envisioned. My heart and soul fully in it. Really don't think you get it. This music is my religion. Sacrifice I'm given, so I am fully committed. Hardest is how I'm hitting, consistent, not intermittent. Earned it if I don't get it, my life just isn't worth living. Competition, I kill it, so face it, you're brave, I'm digging. Perpetually persistent, you piss it, you swung and missed it. You love that lazy living, my blood is what busy dripping. You fading off in the distance, I'm coming fast on the finish. But when I'm out a minute, a maniac on a mission. Trying to stand toe to toe. With me, really, you must be tripping. Feel the tables are tipping. I just gave them all a whipping. You said that I couldn't rap it, but I did it. Just admit it. My rhymes, my wit, swag, and tattoos. Boy, it's true, I'm fresher than you. I grind for mine, you coming unglued. I'll get through more pressure than you. I earn my stripes, you missed your cues. I put in more effort than you. I outdo everything you do. Just admit it, I'm better, I'm better than you. I'm better than you, I'm better than you. Just admit it, I'm better than you. All the time, if you reaching out to me, not too hardly, but to respond. Yeah. I'll catch you up the speed on the opposite of the climb. Can't be acting weak, no dragging my feet or lagging behind. A dragon when I speak, give him heat like the sunshine. Grabbing my meat and balls out of habit when I write a rhyme. Borderline, narcissistic, dark, still is divine. Be realistic, your shit is not sicker than mine. I remind you just who I am. Ooh. Fam, gutter, this a gut check, nut check. Maybe you ain't been through enough yet. No substance, subject matter, suspect. Uh. Substantial, a matter, sub subtle, fuck shit. Shut it down, suckers confront a shutter when hearing this. Come around, such an uncomfortable experience. Ooh. Unbequitable. But when encounter, leave them delirious. We're creating a hope and whatever the opposing theory is. Any coward's accountable for the hating. I'll make a spectacle, special powers that separate me. To a champion, what's a challenge? I'm child training. Mixing natural talent with extra hours of preparating. Dip kiss, nigga. You couldn't hang on me with a harness. I happen to be the hardest. You have to sleep, niggas harmless. I'ma catch a body like I was jumping to when my arm is. My armor is on before I put on a killer's performance. My rhymes, my wit, swag, and tattoos. Boy, it's true, I'm fresher than you. I grind for mine, you coming unglued. I'll get through more pressure than you. I earn my stripes you missed your cues i put in more effort than you i outdo everything you do just admit it i'm better i'm better than you i'm better than you i'm better than you just admit it i'm better than you i'm better than you i'm better than you just admit it i'm better than you just admit it i'm better than you just admit it i'm better than you i'm better than you i'm better than you just admit it i'm better than you I've been plotting, I've been plotting, I've been plotting, I've been plotting, and scheming and planning and stacking. Money, 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 money. I've been plotting, I've been plotting, and scheming and planning and stacking. Money, 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 money. I've been plotting, I've been plotting, and scheming and planning and stacking. Money, 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 money. Let's break down what the business is. Trying to get paid, yeah, get legit. Brain telling me I should hit the lick and I can't locate what my conscience all my programs profiting, out my way or I'm slaughtering. Every bar in sight, that's a lot of them. More street cred than a lot of men. Move too quick, no type of friends. Mingles of the mix you've never been. Getting in rich like Wonder Bread. Up with the ends, your case is dead. Talk to the hand, cause my face is fed. Need the whole check, yes, all the sense. Get with it or I'm calling a replacement in. Get what I said, you're replaceable. On to the next, my plate is full. Five star meal, you're lunchable. And right now, your mouth look a punchable. Swipe up, chill out, combustible. Grown up, broody, hustable. Quick with just keeps I'm about to brand my sway, start charging on. I've been plotting, I've been plotting, and scheming, and planning, and stacking. Money, 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 money. I've been plotting, I've been plotting, and scheming, and planning, and stacking. Money, 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 money. I've been plotting, and scheming, and planning, and stacking. Grab it now, might be gone tomorrow. Born leader, 
Hustle all night, let me hear you holla. Hey, that's full, don't have a borrow. One day late, my face is sorrow. Cash too short, that's hard to swallow. Word is bond, bond is honor. Sound trustworthy about words are hollow. Chop it down further, won't even bother. Bill blueprints about to bring me offers. Fat lady singing, I want the opera. Man had I need more butter. Time will tell who cuts the mustard. Can't catch up, your face is flustered. I'm above all the bull you buried under. Underrated, that's an understatement. Lime, lime, mine for the overtaking. I'm sick of waiting, I'm so impatient. Push a little harder on the road and paving. Bigger pan for the cake and bacon. Bigger brain for the game. I came in flush a lane down the drain over saturation. I've been plotting, I've been plotting, and scheming, and planning, and stacking. Money, 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 money. I've been plotting, I've been plotting, I've been plotting, and scheming, and planning, and stacking. Money, 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 money. I've been plotting, and scheming, and planning, and stacking. You're doing it? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and now you're fucking my headphones up again. Why? I don't know why every time y'all move, my shit gets I, I could up. literally be sitting here and not moving, and, and your fucking headphones just fuck up. That's true. You just throw your hand up. You're like, Well, headphones. no, you were you were moving hands earlier. Were, oh, I was well, throwing hands. I was throwing hands earlier, but. Yeah. Yeah. Where is my, Where's my fucking spot? I haven't given the show a like. Oh. Oh. There you go. Nah, I didn't. Now my headphones are fucked up again. Anybody? Somebody? Anybody? What? Somebody? What? Anybody? Oh, the fuck! Nobody even moved. Nobody even moved. Are they working? No. Why do your headphones keep getting fucked up, dude? Hold on. Let's just. Okay. Ah, stop! 
I was trying to, I'm trying to completely undo it so that way it stops happening. My no, no, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna take care of this during okay. the week. I'm gonna unplug every one of them fucking wires and I'm gonna straighten everything out and then we wouldn't have, we, we shouldn't have a problem. Yeah, but until I hit my fucking cord over here, it's every yeah, every time you hit something is when they go up. Well, I didn't even hit anything. I was just saying that I, I popped the mic. On your, your cord on your your headphones. Your headphones on your yeah, shirt. This, yeah, but you can't straighten this. Like it's every time I hit, like I hit it. Yeah, like it fucks up. There you go, Heather. I gave the show a like. I'm go. in. Shout out to. Uh, I don't ever give the show a like. Be honest with Jay you. Jay Iria. Shout out to Jay Iria, the sexy psycho. We apologize for uh, the missing center of that, but. Uh, yeah, there was uh, you guys, some technical you guys difficulties. Missed all That's the what importance. happens when you let dead body man take control again. There you, you go, bud. You guys missed all the okay, important. We're, all right, we're done here. We're just going to go home. <laughs> there you go, bud. Press play. I would actually be okay with that. I'd go to bed. You are home. Yeah, you yeah. are home. You could but literally if you guys just leave, I could go to sleep. Yeah, I mean, well, you could just go home. I could, I, could, I could just go home. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you if you missed the middle, no, sorry. Anyway, yeah, you yell at me for it fucking up, which I had nothing to do with, but I fixed it. Because I plugged it back in. Yeah, he, restart, it he restarted his computer. <laughs> That's how he fixed it. <laughs> turned Good it back job, on. I got it, I got it up quick. Good job. Well, thank you, Samsung computer, for restarting quickly. Yeah. I mean, if you would have taken the cord <laughs> out and plugged it in yours, it probably would have been faster. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But I don't know if that would have fucked up the mixer. That's why I didn't want to take that chance. Because like if you if you don't, well if you don't plug in the mixer in the right way, yeah. like the mics won't register on the mixer. Well, maybe it's something weird. for the future. Maybe I was just like have it ready. How maybe. are you gonna have call me out? How do you know I didn't even like the goddamn show? How you call me out? Hey, hey, don't forget to go hit up the Patreon. Heather. Yeah, Heather, Heather, Heather. Hey, you would know that he likes this show if you were on our Patreon. That's right. So you mad. would you would have known for like four or five days who we have on next week if you were on our Patreon. Yeah, which is dope, and I'm sad I'm gonna miss it. He's in a song too. He's in a song. He's no. in a song. I don't think so. I think you're thinking is that, that is that like another week from now? You're thinking of somebody else. You're yeah. thinking of somebody. You're thinking with, of uh, the name starts with an M. I'm thinking of Mike. Yeah. Yeah, I got a truckload of pussies. <laughs> yeah, truckload yeah, yeah. of fake pussies. That, Mike Wood, please. Is that not next Mike week? Mike Wood, Wood, please. please. Is that not next week? Next week is Tom Wood. Tom Wood. Yeah, yeah, Tom Wood. I don't have the sound effect thing because Tom Wood, the uh, artist, yeah, that's artiste. It. You may know him for all his artwork on Into the Echo Side and Chronicles of. The Dark Carnival or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yes, you definitely get to remember to ask him about his, uh, his, uh, or actually for all the fucking like Spencer's versions of the Joker's cars where they all look alive. Yeah. He drew all them shits. Yeah. He, he's a fantastic guy. He's a cool dude. I've yeah. talked to him a couple times didn't online. Like, the, the one in that, one of the, those one in a hot topic or whatever, right? Mm. The hot topic. Spencer's. Spencer's. Shit. Spencer's. Probably hot topic too. Spencer's. They were all like the creepy, like the riddle box looking all like creepy and out of the like not normal. Well, they look alive. I guess. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. He he will be on Replicon Radio next motherfucking Monday, the fifteenth of April, fam. So tune in to that. Um, Fan ham. Who the what? Who? Tom Wood. Tom yeah. Wood, please. Tom Wood, yeah, you guys are gonna have to ask him on his uh, his vendetta against uh, plagiarism because there's a lot of people plagiarizing yeah. his shit. Yeah, uh, I, that's how me and him started talking a little bit. That I would see shit that he was on, and then I'd be like, "Yo, you know about this? Look, look at this no blanket hoodie combo. Look, look at this shit to do there. With the Fucking with you all. Aren't, aren't those the prints that everybody was like? All oh, those are ripoffs. Probably, yeah. Everybody's like, you're not a juggalo. You got that ripoff shirt. Oh, no. You're thinking like the Walmart shirts. I guess. I, I don't know. No. You got that shit from Walmart. No, his shirt's fucking I've sick. never, I've never seen an ICP shirt at Walmart, but. They had them. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I've never seen them had here, a couple. They had they, them. Yeah, like the one. I think the one uh, where it was just uh, the, the circle with the red hatchet man in the middle. It was pretty. They had said psychopathic records around it. I think that one was at Walmart. Not 100%. No clue, bro. No clue, bro. That was like a long time ago. Totally, man. bros. That's like a long uh, time ago before we got oppressed. 
That's right. But speaking of Patreon, you still have time to sign up. It's only eight days into April. So if you want to get those exclusive Patreon benefits like this super dope exclusive hoodie, one that was just sent out today, and uh, super dope exclusive t-shirt. How are you going to send it out when you just ask us which one we like? Because I just did it. Oh, okay. I thought it was, like you <laughs> said today and it's tonight. Well, no, I, saying, I, just, I literally just did it. Uh, That's how my time frame works. When you said I sent it out today, I'm thinking daytime, uh, not like I literally, nighttime. like, I just did it. It was already made, so I just fucking right. pulled the address up. And Hell the, yeah. The little bit of money we have left that didn't go to somebody else paid for it. <laughs> um, but yeah. By the way, good good job on uh, taking care of that. That shit is... Uh, but yeah, you still have a chance if you want to get it. Get in now, man. Don't You don't want to miss out on the... Uh, if you miss a month, it's you know what I'm saying? You miss it. You don't get to come back. No. And, it, and it will not be available ever again. Most likely. Unless it's like it super dope. It can't be. It's exclusive. Yeah. And it's only for the Patreon people. And me, because I'm fine. Well, we can get whatever we want. That's different. <laughs> so dope. But you never got me the fucking password so I can do my own things. Oh, well, you can Motherfucker. You don't have to have your password to do your own thing, but you can do it. It, it looks to. better for our page if it's coming from the pa- the profile that is getting all of the shit. If I order through that profile, it, it makes it look like this profile is ordering more shit. It yeah. just makes like we're not selling shit. It actually looks probably looks bad. But I mean, it quit matter. buying shit. Right? I mean, they're making money off the profile. Yeah, they're still, so they're still the happy. We're like, hey, I need y'all to go buy a bunch of shit because there's other things available that we don't have the opportunity to sell because we're not big enough. You know so like if we buy shit at no profit and it doesn't count. Yeah, I was gonna say we're yeah. not gonna open. We're not gonna un- unlock all the good shit. No, it's no pretty so sad. When other people buy it, no. Yeah. Unless I raise it a dollar and all you Tuesday things. fuckers go yeah. buy our Patreon. Or like I bought those stickers. I mean, I bought them at zero markup, but I still bought them through the site because it didn't give me an option to not do it that way. Right. So I had to put them up. Like, if you get on there and it says delete after, that was me buying stickers. And it still shows up. Um, there's actually two new t-shirts up at Replica. Oh, Radio. thank com. you, Heather. Click shop now. There's two new shirts available. One of them everybody got mad at me for, and the other one Heather's funny. a shit. It's a stone. There's a stone dino t-shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a Replicon Maniac t-shirt. There's also a brother t-shirt. We ought to make it's it. a maniac t-shirt. Oh, yeah? 